a Camel Air uh, Centaur, half Land Rover, half Scorpion tank basically. Uh, it's powered by a Range Rover V8 engine, uh, Range Rover gearbox. Uh, the back end is a, is a Jaguar diff, uh, Jaguar inboard brakes and the rest is Scorpion tank. They were built to try and sell to the army and unfortunately they never took enough on it. Well, there were seven uh, vehicles made for trials. Uh, they all passed their trials. This one was P5, it was P1 to P7, this was P5. Uh, it ended up carrying an anti-aircraft gun in the back. Um, but it would have done several other duties as well. So. So the bars mine layer in the back, it will have a, an ambulance body on it, uh, recovery, long range reconnaissance, um, several things. They just more or less tried everything out. Very much like a Land Rover except it's bumpier. It's like having no back suspension basically. You just go from bump to bump basically. That's the track banging. The more speed you get up to, the bumpier it gets and the noisier it gets. People hear you coming you know, and they move your way normally. But no, it's good. And it's very much like driving a normal Land Rover. The actual steering is done from the tyres, you know, from the front wheels rather than the tracks. And it steers basically like a normal Land Rover. When we got it, it had a twisted shaft. Um, and that was a problem. We, we got somebody to make a new shaft and he didn't make it out of strong enough steel so it went again. Um, so it's been a bit of an ongoing problem getting that right. But uh, apart from that, it's really simple things like brake cylinders or you know, mark clutch cylinders and so on. It's, you know, it just odds and ends really like a normal road. You could look at probably paying £3,000 for a set of tracks. That's a pair of tracks. And they're, they're, they're the same tracks as Scorpion, but they're about one and a half tracks. Where the Scorpion had two tracks, that would take about one and a half, but they're slightly shorter. Um, around £3,000. But uh, again, you can find cheaper. I found them down about £700. Yeah, and that's in good condition. So, they, they, you know, the hobby's not that bad. Well, basically this one's owned by Bobbin and Tank Museum in Dorset. Um, and we're friends of the Tank Museum and we have it on a long-term loan. Uh, um, and basically it's just simple restoration really, as if you're restoring a Land Rover. Except when you get to the back end, there's a Scorpion Tank. So those bits are a bit more difficult to source. But, uh, you know, there's normally somebody that will help you, like you know, the Army or the Tank Museum if they can and so on. There's always somebody that can find some kits for you. The wife will drive anything, so you know she is as, as much in it as I am, and, and, and the, the children are the same. You know they, they, they love military vehicles. The mother-in-law is even involved in it, so you know it's the whole family, man. Really.